I love technology, otherwise I wouldn't work in this business. But I think for, if we look for the future for our kids, um, we need to be more savvy about uh, how we connect and how we secure it. I think what we hardly realize is sometimes the chain reaction of things. So we, we keep connecting devices and all kinds of things to the, to the internet. But sometimes we don't see the, I would, what I call this chain reaction because if I have a vulnerable device, only one device is, needs to be vulnerable in my house and somebody can actually compromise it and take over the rest. When my wife was pregnant of our latest kid, uh, we went to a hospital and she got this ultrasound and at some point the lady was actually measuring the size of the baby, like the head and the belly and, and she clicked on saving the data and call me a geek. But normally when you save data, it says save data to file. But instead of that, actually it said like save data to image. I was puzzling about it. I was like, I went, I went home, I was thinking about it like, why would it save the data to an image? And the systems actually that store that data, we found like thousands of them connected to the internet. And when we actually started to research more, we found like so many, many of them were actually open with vulnerabilities so we could easily hack into them or actually uh, get into them. We found a lot of open locations where medical images were stored. And we even found MRI scans. Of course, we respect privacy, so I grabbed the demo file. So uh, we reconstructed a pelvis and then we exported it and we sent it to our 3D printer. And well, <laughs> this is the result. When you connect devices up to the network, sometimes you don't even, you don't even see that also it's connected to the internet with all risks. Uh, involved. So that's where I really want to start uh, the dialogue with the industry. It's, it's not for us to do st look like this is a kind of stunt, right? You're printing a 3D pelvis uh, to shock a little bit. But it's for me, it's not to actually broadcast the, the scare message, but make people aware and start the dialogue with the industry. Like, look, guys, we, we can spend a lot of money on development of medical equipment, but nowadays security must be on your agenda.